Hey Jitterbugs! Hi! If you don't already know me, my name's Rachel. This channel is all about embracing your natural beauty. It's makeup to make you feel like you. Jitter of the day is a red velvet coffee. Yeah, it's even red, like red velvet is delicious. As always, we start drinking our jitter with a little dance. We should figure out some new dances. Flower of the day is a buttercup. Fun flower fact is if you put a buttercup next to your chin, it'll glow. And an old wives tale says that that means you like butter. And there's some scientific reason for that that I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, so today we are doing this video to introduce Taurus season of 2022. Taurus is my rising. So we're, it's a lot to celebrate here. There's a lot of stubbornness gonna be going on, especially with Mercury retrograde starting on the 10th, but that's not. Anyways, so in celebration of that, we are doing a Taurus themed makeup look today. Earthy tones, not a lot of glitter, a lot of staying power, a lot of common sense, but not too complicated, of course, and very versatile. This look can be used for whatever, work, going out, or just for running errands. If that's something you're interested in, keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start with my Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. So this look can be set for all day, be set for all day, I wish I could talk. Um, so if you wanna wear this to work and then wanna go out in it, can be used for both, because we like staying power, power, we like practicality, don't like having to touch up our makeup, <laughs> but we also wanna look good and use good products. Do any of you have Taurus in your chart? Let me know in the comments. Yeah. So I'm a double Gemini, but my Taurus rising definitely comes out. <laughs> so after this, we're going to set the T-zone with my Tarte Jape Tape Powder just in the T-zone. It's gonna be a very matte look today. Okay, so next I have my Lancome foundation, up to 24 hour comfort. Comfort, good foundation, lasts all day. It is, I think, medium coverage. So what we're going to do, I'm actually not even going to mix it with a tinted moisturizer today, as I do a lot with like foundations, because we just want something like easy. Um, because we like that. <laughs> but what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna start in the center of the face and then like blend outward and just add a little bit as I go. So I don't accidentally put on too much. I definitely would never want to like paint it on or anything like that. So we're just gonna like blend outwards here. On the center of the face, as you can see, because I have a few breakouts, is where I need the most coverage anyways. Have you guys tried this foundation? Like, what's your guys' favorite, like, full coverage-ish foundation? Let me know. Hey, this is pretty good. Like, it's not, it doesn't look too cakey. Just use a little bit just to even out the skin tone. I have my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium Sand. And we're just going over some trouble spots because I don't know why my skin has decided to break out like crazy today, so bear with me. So I have this and I also have my Tarte Shape Tape in. No, I'll just take my long comb. I had a Tarte Shape Tape for my under eyes too, but whatever. My long comb concealer in Biscuit, which is a cool tone color and just put that in the inner corners. And we're going to lift a little bit here. And we're gonna blend everything in. I'm gonna blend it all in. Just like with tapping motions like that. Okay, so I'm going to take my banana powder. Somehow I got something on here. I don't know what this is. But anyways, I'm going to go in here and use that to set my under eyes. Even though I do like using a cool tone powder or concealer for my under eyes, I love this stuff to set the under eye area for some reason. It just really, it just works really well. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take that same tart powder and just like set the rest of my face. So this is a this is uh, a foundation face makeup that will last the whole day, which is exactly what my Taurus Rising loves. Something practical, looks good, that I don't have to fix. Okay. Speaking of which, I have my Cali Contour Palette by Smashbox. This is well loved. This lives in my bag that I do in the car every day before I go to work. I'm not even kidding. You can see it has everything here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and contour. We aren't going to do any shiny highlights today. 
because we're maintaining like this like earthy vibe but i can use this like white shade to contour a little bit so it'll show off my cheekbones without being excessive and i was going to use the blush in here but i found a better blush that i want to use i have this tarte 24 hour no the 12 hour sorry amazonian clay blush in the shade sensual and the reason i wanted to use it if i can get this open the reason i want to use it is this because it is a natural brown earthy blush and i'm going to go ahead and put that on the cheeks and blend that in and you can still see the highlight so works out well nice and earthy for today so for brows i literally just have this like benefit give me brow in the shade 3.5 i'm going to go through my brows and that's it it's a super small wand as you can see so it picks up all the hairs and literally we're just gonna go like that and that so that will have the brows set all day without really any further maintenance brows are microbladed if they weren't i might use a little bit of pencil too but you don't really need to and i'm actually going to allow the color to distribute and to set it again by using a clear brow gel i'll just like set everything in place better and that'll make the brows look even fluffier and big without having to do anything. A lot of like effect for a little effort is something Taurus lives for. So trust me, I know. Now I have my Fenty Beauty um, eyeshadow primer. So for this to work, you have to leave it on the eyelids for like a minute, um, literally a minute, not like forever a minute. <laughs> So, okay, I have my MAC lip pencil in SOAR. I'm going to line my lips with a, it's a neutral color. So I have the Sephora lipstick in the shade 65. So this is a stick lipstick, but actually it lasts very well. And for a creamy lipstick, it is not, it doesn't transfer that much. But this is a nice like neutral brown earthy shade. So I'm gonna put that over the lips. Don't mind this, I've had this like my whole life. I don't know why my lip is all weird. Okay, so it looks kind of like a natural, neutral earthy, right? And actually, to add on to this earthy vibe, I have this Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. So we're gonna put this kind of on the apples of the cheeks and a little bit into the indent where we contoured like that. So it kind of warms the face, a little bit on the bridge of the nose, and then top of the forehead. I almost can't bronze my forehead too much because my forehead's huge. <laughs> Blend it in. Also gives this like a nice like summery look also. So this is like earth tone vibes. So finally we're gonna be on eyes. So I have this brand new Urban Decay Wild Greens palette that I'm going to be reviewing. I have not even opened this today. I walked into Ulta yesterday because I wanted to get stuff to dye my hair. I put like blue purple at the ends, which I guess you can see kind of in the light. And entirely hold, so we're gonna like add more in a couple days. But anyways, because I love makeup, I walked in there and don't have good and false control. So, and this was a brand new palette by Urban Decay. And Urban Decay can be hit or miss sometimes, but this, these colors were just so springy and earthy, I just could not resist. So I think what I'm gonna do is take this like earthy pink shade called Lo-Fi and literally like set everything with it. So put a little bit in the crease, and then set the lip make this like really low key low key earthy versatile but still looking good what more could you want no just kidding i am also a gemini so i do have to switch things <laughs> that actually looks really nice it doesn't show up as much on camera but it's pretty nice in person i guess i'll take the shade earth side and put it in the crease and just define the crease a little bit I said I wasn't going to do anything glittery, but that glitter green tone is calling my name. So we'll see if, if I can resist that. And I'm gonna do this shade kickback in the outer corner. So this is just like a really low key neutral look. And just like blend that in with what we already have here. Okay, so I'm going to try the super greens on the lid and see how it goes. Oh, that's cute. I'm not mad at this. I put like a little bit just like towards the, the center and then blend it out like that. So it looks like almost like a garden-y eye look. 
I'm gonna take this kale and use it on the other side of the lid like that to blend the two together. And then just like blend it with everything else. And then I might mix, stash the glittery one that I said I wasn't going to use, but it's a dark glittery one. And the dark color kickback together and then do again in the outer corner and then do a little bit in the crease to kind of like blend it all together. Okay, I'm not mad at this shadow look at all. It's super earthy vibes. And as I've been saying, it's super versatile too. Like you kind of look where this look anyway. Okay, so I'm going to curl my lashes now. Oh, hopefully I don't mess up my eyeshadow. Okay, so now that the eyelashes are curled, I'm gonna keep with this green theme and use this Sephora um, crayon retractable waterproof pencil in the shade Olive that I discovered I had like today. I just found it in my collection. I'm like, oh, this is perfect. And I'm gonna do it on the lower lid. So I thought about using like eyeshadow on the lower lid, but I don't like to do that because it never stays. And of course, this is a Taurus makeup look and Taurus is very practical. And then that way the look will be kind of soft as well too because there won't be any like harsh line on the lower lid. Although I do like that sometimes. Next I have my Essence Eyeliner Pen. In, and this is in brown. And we're going to do a line close to the lash line here. And I like these Essence Pen Liners because they work really well and last all day and are definitely reasonably priced. Okay guys, so I have this Vivious Place Black Pencil Liner. And I'm doing this literally just like for the outer corners of my eyes because I don't like it with my eyes don't have any black eyeliner at all because it's just like it's not defined enough. So literally I'm just gonna put this in the outer corner of this side. As you can see, there's like a difference now. That's my dog. But that way I can get the definition of black eyeliner without the heaviness of being black everywhere. Okay, and so we're gonna add some mascara. We're gonna do this Tarte Sugar Rush Lash Smoothie. I've been using this lately because I just like randomly found it and I love it. It separates the eyelashes pretty well. I'm gonna put some on the lower lashes. If I were going somewhere, I would do a waterproof mascara for the lower lashes, but because I'm not, I'm not bothering. And you see like what like a dramatic fan effect this has. And we're just spraying this mine. Next matte finish Fini Matte Spray. And there you are. There is the finished look. This is my Taurus season super versatile. Last all day earthy tone look for you guys. Please let me know what you guys thought of this look. Please let me know if you would try it. Please let me know what you thought of the palette. Please like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye Jitterbugs. Oh and by the way. This is a transfer even though it's a stick lipstick. Definitely would recommend. Bye guys.